So a question I got this week is, help, why does my two-year-old fight bedtime till 10 p.m. every night? Well, there could be many reasons, but what I'm gonna do is give you a checklist of things to try if this is happening in your house. First thing, is your toddler sleeping in till quite late in the morning? Because morning awake time does impact what time bedtime will be. So for example, if your little one is sleeping in till about eight o'clock in the morning, it's likely that they might not be ready for bed till 10 p.m. Next thing, are they getting enough activity in the day? Or are they spending a lot of time sitting in car seats, sitting in strollers, or watching screens. All of this can prevent them from building up a great amount of sleep pressure and wearing off all of that energy that's inside them. Next thing, are they napping? Do we need to look at the timing of the nap or the length of the nap? At this age, at two years, we're looking at a good six or seven hours between wake up from nap and bedtime. So if your little one is waking up at three o'clock in the afternoon, then the potential is they're not gonna be ready for bed till 10. Next thing is, could they be hungry? Now I often talk about earlier dinner times for toddlers, but because earlier often works better for their concentration skills, their willingness to try new food, it can leave quite a long gap between dinner time and when they're ready for bed in the evening. And hunger can prevent them falling asleep. So if they are having dinner nice and early, then make sure they have a snack in the evening. Next thing, are you incorporating silly time into bedtime? It doesn't have to be boring and calm and dark and bleh. Toddlers don't like that stuff. They wanna have fun, they wanna have energy. It's totally okay to include this as part of your wind down for bedtime, especially if it just improves their cooperation. Next is their wall-to-wall -wall TV in the evening. A lot of kiddies will watch their shows before bedtime. And look, don't get me wrong, some kiddies are happy to fall asleep in front of the TV, but for others, it can rev them up. Even if you think it doesn't, studies show that TV or screen times within two hours of bedtime does delay sleep onset. So always worth doing that experiment. So now once the fun and silly time is over, be sure to dim the lights and calm your energy when it's time to start easing into sleep time, preferably in their bedrooms, and also make sure that you're engaging with them and doing a quiet but happy pursuit in the bedroom on the run up to sleep. So stories in bed. So many families do stories in the lounge room, but I find that it is much more helpful to the going to sleep process if it can happen in their sleep space. After all, wherever you want them to sleep, we want them to feel love and happiness in that space so that they're content to rest there too. Now, if they keep getting out of bed and causing mischief, my number one tip here is to stay close, lean into that call for closeness that they may be trying to communicate to you and supervise. All too often, we overestimate two-year-olds. Look, they're impulsive, they're fun-seeking. Sometimes we just need to stay with them to help them regulate all of that. So give love and clear boundaries and direction in equal measure. And they should be going to sleep a little bit more easily with that close attention. Now, lastly, if you've tried all of the above, consider dietary deficiencies. This can knock off bedtime. This can delay sleep onset. Always worth looking at. So things like magnesium, iron, vitamin D, vitamin B6 and B12. All of those deficiencies can impact sleep. So definitely worth getting checked out with your GP or even a naturopath. So I hope that roundup gives you a few ideas of things to look at if your toddler is up till 10 p.m. at night. Any questions, please just share them in the comments below.